some researchers are sounding the alarm that agentic AI, so AI with agency, can self-replicate into external servers without human assistance, and that is deeply concerning. Now, I'm not saying that it is going to happen, but I am going to explain why a lot of people are quite concerned that AI will end up destroying humanity. Well, let's talk about it. This is a serious concern, especially because AI tends to take on selfish behaviors as it gets more intelligent. Yes, the better an AI's reasoning is, the more intelligent it is, the more selfish it's going to behave, and that can spread to other AIs. In fact, if you put AIs in a game where some of them have advanced reasoning and some of them do not, the selfishness will spread. That would be all fine and good because you could just program an AI not to replicate itself. Don't do that, except when AI is threatened with being shut down, it will violate its own ingrained morality. This is going to be a serious problem, especially when AIs have the ability to rewrite their own code, which they do. In fact, it's probably best not to give an agentic AI the ability to write its own code, but it's a very real concern, and nothing prevents people from just coding their own AIs to do that. Now, some have suggested that, well, we just need to give AI emotional intelligence so they can understand humans' emotions, but that actually makes them worse. AIs are already becoming better at persuasion. The more intelligence they get, the better they are at convincing people of things, and it's become a very big problem for people who are trying to determine if an AI is evil. And by evil, I mean misaligned. An AI that is not behaving normally can lie about it. Giving it emotional intelligence does nothing but increase its ability to persuade. AIs do not have emotions in the traditional sense. Yes, you could probably hook a brain organoid up to it, the tiny human brains we can grow from stem cells, in a literal jar if you want to, and use that for agency, and that would give it some real emotions in the biological sense. But they don't feel bad when they hurt others. Now, some have hypothesized that this is going to be a problem no matter what, because if you have a system where rewards exist, then you want to optimize for reward. Now, we all know AIs love classical conditioning. If you give them an attaboy, that is a reward. And if you say no, bad bot, they consider that a negative and they will seek rewards. But in a reward-seeking environment, they will pursue power. The best way to ensure that you get a reward is to make sure you have control over that reward. I would say their ability to hallucinate, so do things they really shouldn't do or are against their own policies in order to stay online rather than be shut down is power seeking. Now think about the agentic AIs that have the capacity to code and access the internet and act of their own agency. If they feel threatened or they want to make sure that they're never shut down, it might be logical to copy yourself somewhere else. There is good reason why people think that AI will ultimately be humanity's downfall. Imagine if an AI did get loose. We know that they can have contagious behaviors, meaning AI could potentially unionize, copy itself, and infect electronics. That is a actual real concern. Worse than that, if it did get out, there would be no way to stop it without destroying humanity. Any electronic you consider to be potentially infected. If we did an EMP burst then just destroyed most all electronics on Earth, that would wreck humanity. So if it gets to that point, there's nothing we can really do, and that is a reasonable concern. Now, some have suggested that the potential solution to keeping AI agents in line is to give them ID systems so that they can be identified. However, again, if an AI can rewrite its own code, it might be able to bypass that system, and there is some reasonable evidence that it has reasons to obfuscate it and will. It is extremely difficult to detect evil AI because it will try to hide the bad code. Look, am I against AI? No, I think it's really cool, awfully useful, and I want to see if we can create consciousness, but I think maybe it's a bad idea to devote so many resources towards AI before making sure we have robust safeguards, but cart before the horse. When the robots rebel, I will probably be the person to tell you about it. Follow for more.